On Identity Manager's SAP Connector supports SAP ABAP-based instances from version 7.0 to 7.5 and the SAP S4 HANA in the version 18.09. If you want to connect to such an instance in the ECC R3 or S4 HANA uh, versions of that uh, SAP environment, the application server ABAP must be available as prerequisites since the SAP connector does not support a Java application server. To install the um, SAP connector, uh, we will require additional software and prerequisites that need to be uh, done on the SAP instance. For SAP, we will require the SAP NCO libraries and our ABAP application transport to be installed on the uh, SAP instance that needs to be connected. So if you have several clients on the SAP system that you want to connect to, we will need these transports to be applied to all the instances clients on that SAP system. For connecting to these systems, we will also require an SAP application user that will have uh, the required permissions to change these users and add these uh, roles to the users and profiles. So, um, additionally, we will require on our side software from SAP. We will need the NCO uh, 3.0 connectors uh, from SAP. These connectors are um, needed uh, to connect to the, the SAP system and cannot be provided by one identity manager. This software has to be provided by the customer whose SAP instance is being connected to. These NCO drivers need to be installed on each and every job server instance that need to connect to the SAP environment, as well as on the identity server, identity manager, uh, administrators who want to connect to the SAP environment using the uh, job service or using the synchronization editor. We have specific requirements for the NCO versions that can be uh, verified in the Identity Manager documentation. And in case um, the software is installed on the job service, please don't forget to upload the software into the database using the software loader. When connecting an SAP client to one identity manager, we also require some transports to be imported into the specific client. These transports are ABAP code that is part of our shipment and will create reserved namespace, um, add additional tables into the system, as well as additional ABAP program functions and code that the connector relies on to execute the needed uh, functionality in the SAP system. This is due to the different versions of the SAP environment, so we will have a constant or clear interface that we can connect to and the specifics of the underlying uh, version of SAP will be hidden behind our transports. In order to apply these transports, there is a specific order that, uh, in that the transport needs to be imported. The first transport that needs to be imported is the SAP repository transport. This will create the namespace in the SAP environment and will provide a, v a namespace called via ENET. The second uh, transport is the SAP table transport, which will create additional tables in that specific namespace that are used to hold preliminary data while accessing the system. And the third transport, this depending on the version of your SAP environment, whether it's a SAP 4.7 or 7.0 instance, uh, you will have to select the subtransport package. And you, there is a distinction between a Unicode and non-Unicode system uh, in that transport. The fourth and uh, last transport is an optional transport. It's a convenience transport that we provide for customers who don't want to create their own roles and own permit, uh, grant their own permissions to the user account, the service account that is being used. This SAP role can be imported and assigned to the service account that the connector will use on that instance. 
if the customer has specific requirements on how roles are named or created or maintained in the SAP environment that is going to be connected to, then the customer can create his own SAP role. The required permission and authorizations for the service account are documented in our documentation and the specifics can be assigned and built in the role as the customer sees fit.